the buffer is the gate which is going to simply work like an amplifier. You have to realize that in electronics anytime you want to represent amplifier we're supposed to draw triangle. If it comes to buffer this has also shape of the triangle. Now this is the distinctive shape symbol with input A and output X. If you want to draw rectangular outline symbol you are going to simply draw square and I'm going to have input A, output X and qualifying symbol which is simply 1. So this is called buffer or gate yes. In order to understand how it works we're supposed to draw the truth table of this gate. Okay, so I have just one input, input A, and I have one output, output X. And because I have just one input, for one input I can apply only two combinations. I have combination 0 and I have 1. Now, gate yes simply transfer whatever is at the input to the output. So if I'm going to apply 0 to input, output is going to be also 0. And if I'm going to apply 1 to the input, output is going to also be equal 1. Someone can ask why we need to have gate which simply has 0 at the input and 0 at the output, 1 at the input and 1 at the output means whatever comes in comes out. We're supposed to realize that Anytime we send data for very long distance, if you will send at the input, let's say pulse like this, after a few miles you can get the pulse looking like this. Okay, so basically what you need, you need to amplify this pulse. So if you are going to apply buffer, so at the output of the buffer you are going to get again very nice looking square wave. So that's why we need this gate. This is buffer which is going to amplify the signal. So this is the truth table. Next we're supposed to talk about the logic expression. Okay, so when we have buffer input A and because output is going to be equal to the input, so logic expression right, for buffer is simply A. If you will have, let's say, logic expression B, so it automatically means that we have gate yes or buffer with input B. And let's say if you are going to have logic expression C, it means buffer with input C. If it comes to the timing diagram, so let's say if I have wave looking like this, applied to the input of this gate, and I want to find what I'm going to have at the output. So this is my input A and this is my output X. So you have to look at the truth table. Please notice that anytime we have 0 at the input, output is going to be also 0. 1 at the input, output is going to be 1. So I have to first draw the dashed line at every single change of my input signal. So anytime you are going to notice transition from 0 to 1, like I have over here, we have 0, 1, or from 1 to 0, and let's say I have 0 to 1, I have to draw the dashed line. I have transition from 1 to 0, I suppose to draw the dashed line. And according to the truth table, Anytime I have 0 at the input, output is going to be also 0. Anytime I have 
input 1, I have 1 at the input, output is going to be also 1, 0 at the input, output is going to be 0, 1 at the input, output is going to be also 1, and so on. So this is my output waveform for gate. Yes, so this is buffer. Let's talk right now about inverter. 